Paul Karanja wants to do is fly his machine. However, he has created something that was invented close to a century ago. So, in essence, his creation may never go further than his workshop. KTN's Catherine Omando brings us his story. 20-year-old Paul Karanja made it to the headlines last week when he tried to fly this contraption on the Karagiti airstrip in Ivasha, only to be stopped by police who said it was illegal for him to fly his bird-like machine. I've been having dreams of flying ever since I was young, but I've not had the support. Since January, Paul has been working on his innovation that runs on a motorcycle engine. Even if it's just lift off, all I aim for is lift off of the ground, that's all I aim for. His machine, however, resembles the hundreds of machines created by man almost decades ago before airplanes ever existed. According to Sylvan Sange of the Kenya Industrial Property Institute, Paul has just reinvented the wheel. First of all, it has to be guided by something. There has to be a need whereby then you are offering a solution. And this solution uh, need to be uh, need driven or demand driven. Now, let's imagine that that plane uh, is, is created. Will somebody buy it in the market where we now have these other advanced technologies? So again, it has to be for a purpose because even him, finally, he may want to draw a living from it. So what kind of a living will he draw from such a rudimental kind of uh, uh, creation? Oh. In 2013, Chris Galilee made it to the headlines for his four-propeller contraption. His innovation is a little simpler than Paul's and more necessity-driven, and he has found a market for his flying object. He now provides aerial footage for KTN's Morning Express. Yeah, my main purpose of purchasing this was to do business with it and to commercialize it for recording parties, aerial recording of parties and photography of weddings. Uh, we can do the wild. Which then begs the question, as he begins to commercialize on his innovation, how does he protect it? So what we look at is in that whole uh, idea, is it based on a program that is written or is it based on an idea that has been conceived which is like uh, an inventive genius kind of Inventive genius idea is one that you come up with by use of brain without anything added, as opposed to an uh, inventive algorithm like writing a program. You will agree with me that uh, somebody cannot write a program if that person is not uh, literate. Yes, but when it comes to invention, you don't need to be literate. Going to school is only but an added advantage. The way your brain is, you can invent. Yeah, so this is one critical thing that even other Kenyans need to know, that they really need to embrace the culture of creating fortune, their fortune from their ideas. The process of patenting takes a while and sometimes innovators and inventors get impatient, leaving them open to intellectual property theft. You may ask me that, uh, how long does it take to register my trademark? Then I'll tell you, not less than two months. Then you say, no, 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 that is too long. There are some places I go and within two days I've gotten my certificate. We have processes that are regulated. Some are entrenched in the law, whereby it says that you cannot just bring us a label, we process it and then we give you a registration certificate without giving the public an opportunity to comment as to whether this mark should be registered for you or not. So when we do that, uh, we uh, publish uh, this mark in an industrial property journal, which we, we produce once every month. And then the register of trademark when it comes to trademarks, who is also the managing director when it comes to industrial property, would give anybody outside there who would wish to raise an opposition to do so before the mark is registered. This period is 60 days. 60 days is two months. Yeah, so again, it's not something that people should confuse that KP is inefficient, two months. I mean, what for? 
Yeah, so all these are uh, periods that are actually uh, put in the law. Uh, for example, if you apply for an invention, for the first 18 months, this invention, this application will not be uh, processed. Uh, the law says that it can only be processed after it has been published. And to be published, it has to take 18 months. So that's an international provision of which we are also part, and it happens even in other countries. If one is granted a patent, their innovation is protected for 20 years where only they can enjoy the financial benefits of commercializing it. Catherine Omwando, KTN.